So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. And listen, y'all told me to keep going, right? Keep going. So listen, have you ever thought about, posed the question, been sitting around, might have been drinking a little bit or something like that? You know what I mean? And you just have one of those, those moments where this thought pop in your head. And you ever asked yourself, you know, what if the earth all of a sudden just stopped spinning? Just what have happened? What what would happen? You ever thought that to yourself? Me neither. But what if the Earth stopped spinning right now? It's actually the title of this video we're gonna get into. All right. So if you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, and um, let's see what what they think the possibilities of what would happen if if that happened. Here we go. What would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? We've always been fascinated by what would become of Earth and us if something disastrous happened. Well, I try not to think about it. Anyway, have you wondered about it as well? Well, that's why Hollywood makes so many movies about the end of the world. We at Brightside decided to find out what would happen if Earth suddenly stopped spinning it's really slowing down, by the way. Let's have a look at the incredible consequences that might follow one day. 1. All objects would fly east at high speed with their own momentum. We don't notice the huge speed at which the Earth is spinning. But if it stopped, says Sten Odenwald from NASA, Everything on its surface would be torn off the ground and fly east, eventually falling back down. At the equator, the speed would be the greatest, about a thousand miles per hour, while closer to the poles, it would reach 800 miles per hour. Ooh. Ooh. Number two, enormous tidal waves would occur. The power of momentum would make the water in the seas and oceans move to form extremely powerful tsunamis. So basically what he's saying is if it's rotating at a speed, which we don't really think about, you know what I mean, being present in it, we don't think about it. But if it stopped all of a sudden, that would just, first of all, send everything right. And then it's going to cause, oh, man. It's no, it's no tall building you can, you can run up to to probably survive that at all, man. You know what I mean? See, we always think about the meteors or something hitting us from space, but this is an interesting topic to me. Water in the seas and oceans move to form extremely powerful tsunamis. They would move east and clean the coastal cities off the face of the earth. Mm. Well, we hope it'll never happen. Facts. Number three, a powerful wind would rise. The atmosphere would continue moving, and its momentum would make it rotate around the planet, probably several times. The starting airflow speed would be enormous, more than 1,100 miles per hour. It's possible that Earth would lose part of its atmosphere while this happens. So, hold your breath. Number four, all water on Earth would collect in two oceans, and a new continent would form. Water gathers at the equator now due to centrifugal force. A sudden stop in Earth spinning would make the land masses and water redistribute themselves to form two great oceans on both poles. The land on the equator would rise and create a gigantic new continent covering the whole planet through the equator. Good. Now. With them saying that, you know who I want to hear from now? The, the flat earthers. The ones who believe the earth is flat. I want to hear what they would think would happen if the earth stopped spinning. Now that they're saying the poles would create two oceans, would have two oceans. I want to know what they would think at that point. Oh my, see, see, we taking it deep. We taking it deep. To form two great oceans on both poles. 
the land on the equator would rise and create a gigantic new continent covering the whole planet through the equator. Good time to know somebody in real estate, huh? Number 5. Volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, and earthquakes would begin. Does everything have to do with a volcano? That's why I keep checking out more and more volcanoes, because I'm learning everything will have a cause and effect from a volcano, bro. Ah! The huge kinetic force of Earth and its momentum would shake the planet to its core. The result is quite predictable. All powerful hurricanes, volcanic eruptions, and destructive earthquakes would begin everywhere. Number 6. Earth would transform from a geoid into a sphere. The geoid shape of Earth is due to its spinning motion. It's a bit flattened on the poles and a little bulging at the equator, kind of like me. You can find the lecture by Professor Etienne Geis from ENS de Lyon online to get more details. If the planet stops, its shape will become more spherical. Number 7. One hemisphere would become as hot as a desert, and the other would be as cold as the Antarctic. If Earth continued to make just one turn around the Sun, only half of it would be heated. This would make it scorching hot and brightly lit, with the highest temperatures at the equator. This of course would really be the bright side of life. <laughs> the second hemisphere would become a kingdom of eternal night and arctic cold. NASA has another version. Earth would stop turning altogether, and there would be a six-month day followed by a six-month night. Yeah, everybody facing the sun would get that six month day. Everybody facing away from it get that six month night. And boy, the temperatures. Now, I know somebody sitting at home thinking, like, okay, but how do we survive this, bro? I don't think it's possible. I don't, you know what I mean? Just hypothetically thinking, you know what I mean? We don't know if any of this is true, but we're just saying hypothetically, bro. Yeah, not a good chance. Number 8. The magnetic field protecting Earth from dangerous cosmic radiation would disappear. The magnetic field is basically formed due to the outer core processes and the planet's spinning motion. If the spinning stopped, the magnetic field would also disappear, predicts Stan Oldenwald. The field protects us from solar wind, the charged particles from the sun that would destroy every single living being. Oy. So not only do we got to deal with the temperatures on each side of the hemisphere, now you got to worry about stuff coming into Earth and finishing it off, like per se, like pretty much. Like. Number nine, if people survived, it would only be on the border of heat and cold. Humanity would only be able to adapt to the new conditions on the border of day and night. Humans would have to live underground and only go outside in protective suits because of radiation. Number 10. The moon would eventually fall onto Earth, but that wouldn't be soon. Professor Vaughn Pratt of Stanford University says the moon would gradually slow down too and its distance from Earth would reduce. In time, it would probably just fall onto our planet. In fact, the Earth is slowing down. In its youth, it spun much faster. A day lasted only six hours. The Moon's gravity causes ebbs and tides that gradually drop the speed of Earth's motion. NASA calculated that a day's length increases by 2.3 milliseconds every 100 years. After billions of years, days would become several times longer, and then our planet will probably stop completely. And I sh Now, how, how do all y'all feel that be like, man, it's not enough time in a day, or man, it's not enough time in a week, man, it's not enough... 
How you feel now after hearing that information? <laughs> Still wishing for that time, huh? Several times longer, and then our planet will probably stop completely. And I should live so long. Share this. Yeah, the next time you next time you hear somebody say, "Oh my gosh, it's just it's just not enough time in a day." Just point them to this video right here, man. <laughs> and then see if they still have that same sentiment after the video is over with. I guarantee they'll probably change their mind, their tone a little bit and be thankful for the time they have. That's what I'm saying, man. When you start putting things into perspective, like, yeah, you'll start living life to the fullest. To the fullest. When you know all of these things or all of these possibilities of what could happen, could be like right around the corner. Yeah, everything that you put in it to the side to do for later, you might not put it to the side. You know what I mean? Just thinking about that. But I never really thought about it. And when this came across me, I was like, yo, what if? What would happen if Earth decided to stop spinning? And yeah, it would be disastrous. Yeah, disastrous. Just complete disaster. You know what I mean? But... Some of y'all might have already known this. This was new to me. So I, this was exciting information to, to get. So y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what you thought of this video, all right? And stick around and stay tuned. The next one, I'm gone. Peace.